Hello everyone. Today I'm going to talk about bronchitis imaging. So what is bronchitis? Bronchitis refers to inflammation of large airway. So it means it will affect it on the primary and secondary bronchi. There are two types of bronchitis. The first one we call acute bronchitis. It means short-term process with symptoms occasionally lingering for two to three weeks post infection. And chronic bronchitis is a predictive cough mostly on most days for around more than three months in two consecutive years in patients for whom other causes of chronic cough have been excluded. So it usually chronic bronchitis is a type of COPD. So, in order to easy to understand, to be easy to understand what is bronchitis, first of all, we have to understand the anatomy of bronchi. So, we already know the bronchitis is affected on the process has happened in the primary and secondary bronchi. So now we're looking into detail of the acute bronchitis in the imaging. So epidemiology, acute bronchitis can affect people of all age, but it is commonest in children, especially those under the age of three years. It is often associated with the common cold or a sore throat, and or flu. The main symptom is a hacking cough that may be associated with sputum production. Sputum is usually yellow or clear and different from the green sputum that is more often associated with lower respiratory tract infection. So bronchitis and the sputum is usually yellow. But if bronchiolitis, the sputum usually green. It means it, the disease is happening in the small airway. Patients will often have nasal and sinus infection and describe a runny nose or sinus symptom which include pain. As far as cough and sputum production, patients may describe other general symptoms include wheezing, softness of breath, chest pain, and headache. Acute bronchitis is usually an inflammatory reaction to a virus. However, rarely there may a bacterial cause or possibly an inflammatory response to an irritant like, for example, smoke, dust, or fumes. In Chinese ring, it usually normal in Chinese ring. Sometimes 
we can find the bronchial wall thickening, which is non specific, is attributed to acute bronchitis. This chest is ray. So, mild peripronchial coughing as seen in a viral bronchitis. So, we can see the more processes happen in uh, proximal, it mean close to the main bronchus, but the peripheral, we can see the lung is clear. Lung is clear. Another case. Also, we, we see the prominent vas bronchovascular routine. And more obviously, in the central, I mean, it close to the hilium or main bronchus. Another case is the case of bronchitis with classicals fissure. We can see the period bronchial thickening bilaterally, and we can see the classicals fissure on the left upper zone, on the right upper zone. Para a steno shadow. In CT, the case of COVID 19, we, in this, there is so bronchitis and mild pneumonia. Let me see. We see increase and second of the primary and secondary bronchus of bone and increase attenuation of the wall and some ground glass opacity in both lines. Chronic bronchitis. It is persistent productive cause for many years without any additional respiratory impairment, but eventually the smear on exertion develop. After some time, other signs of COPD may appear, include hypercapnia, hypoxemia, and myocinosis. Long-standing severe chronic bronchitis commonly lead to core burnout and heart failure. Chronic bronchitis most often result from overproduction and hypersecretion of mucus by globulin cells. The, the mechanism is not entirely clear, but is linked to both hypertrophy of submucosal gland, array index, and increased number of low blood cells, which are though to be the productive, protective reaction to tobacco, smoke, or other pollen, pollutant. This can in turn lead to worsening airflow obstruction may by luminal obstruction of small airway, epithelial remodeling and alteration of airway surface tension predisposing to collapse. Chair is the 
uh, finding are not sensitive or specific for chronic bronchitis, but it is useful to look for diagnosis other than COPD that may cause the patient's symptom include pneumonia, congestive heart failure, or even lung cancer. Common radiological findings include radiolucency, it means black house in both lung because of emphysema or air draping. And we can see the diaphragmatic flattening due to hyperinflation, increase in the Uh, increased retrosthenal airspace on the lateral chest radiograph. This is a case of chronic bronchitis in chest X-ray. We can see sickening of the medium side airway and mucus in the lumen. Take home message. The chest radiography is really necessary for acute bronchitis. It serves in the aim of finding a complication or difference of diagnosis. Chronic cough in patients for whom other causes of chronic cough have been excluded is the case of chronic bronchitis, which is a type of COPD. Thank you.